How y'all doing? Today, we are going to be taking a look at some amazing Western wear out there. And it was about two weeks ago when I did my jean video, which I'm wearing right now. Awesome, awesome jeans, super awesome, been loving them. But if you didn't watch that video, go watch it right now, link up here. We are going to be testing out 12 shirts today from the most expensive one being $80 shirt all the way down to give or take about 12 bucks maybe if you can get it on the right uh, time of day at the old Wally World, um, $8 I've been able to get them for. But anyway, first of all, you beautiful freak, thing is, is that I would very much love you to subscribe to this channel and you might be saying, I don't know, you're gonna have to win that for me. Okay, ready? Go ahead and subscribe. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and try to win your subscribership. Okay, ready? All right, if you haven't subscribed yet, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you this, so you better subscribe. Okay, ready? You always wondered with your belt buckles, right? Here, I'll show you, watch. This is normally how you do your belt, right? You got this, you got your belt buckle, or your other loopy deal, I don't know, I always wear a big belt buckle. I need a bigger belt buckle, I'm telling you what, shoot. You usually tuck it up under here, right? Right up under here, like this. And then you tuck it in this second flap here, and doing this right and then you tuck it like that and then you kind of center it kind of like that and then you always got this stupid you always got this stupid flap flapping around in the wind and then especially if you're like one of those if you're like a kid right and you're like from the age of like eight to my age and if your mom is real frugal she'll buy you like a four foot long belt so then you got a belt flap the size of America flying behind you when you're on your Harley Davidson so anyway we're riding your horse tip watch this super awesome this is just nobody actually showed me this tip I'm not uh, this is actually a genuine I actually learned how to do this us brothers actually all learned how to do this so watch this take your belt like this before the semi truck passes by with chickens in it you take your belt and you actually slip it un up underneath your belt like that I'll show it again take your belt and you slip it up underneath your belt like that and then you hook on your belt buckle and you tuck it up underneath there and it's flawless. As y'all can see, once again, take your belt, you put it up underneath here, slide it. Y'all, I know all y'all good old boys out there are gonna be trying this right now in your seats. Slide it up underneath there, clip on your belt buckle, boom. I walked into my doctor's office like this and he's he didn't even look at me. He was just looking at my belt and how the heck I cinched it up there like that and from I mean, if me and you were just having a conversation right now, you probably wouldn't even notice it, but then when I explain it, it was just like, wow. So hopefully you just learned something there. So hopefully I just won your subscription. So hopefully it's, it's free, y'all. Just subscribe. All 12 of these shirts, of course, can be bought at thebeast.com, or most people know it as Amazon, of course, and the other beast, Walmart. But anyway, sadly. So only if you want to go get it from another overpriced place but anyway this one is the tan Wrangler long sleeve shirt and I am telling you what the second I put this thing on I have no undershirt underneath this just normal just normal guy here the breeze it's like a really cool shirt not like cool like it looks cool it's like nice like it fits good and everything like it, it it's just good it feels good I'll go ahead and turn around here so y'all can see the back here looks good my neighbor's gonna come in the field and th this is a Wrangler shirt I'm not really brand loyal. I do like the design, uh, the cuts and the stitching that Wrangler has. In my last video, that's the pants that I wear is the Wrangler, the Wrangler boot cut jeans. I really do like them. They're very nice jean. But as you can see, it's a very, very nice shirt. This is their light tan. And personally, I really like this. If you're working in the summertime, you need something lightweight, which this is. I mean, this almost feels, this is just like, it has extra air air can flow through it this is not a shirt um that you would want to um this is not going to be some thick denim shirt this is a thinner shirt so you're going to have to if it's a cooler day you are going to have to wear um especially if there's a lot of breeze passing by you you are definitely going to have to wear a shirt underneath this but god bless me with a very beautiful day to shoot this video with so uh that's a very big praise the lord it is absolutely beautiful out here it's about 70 degrees and who could ask for anything better than that? So, I've worked with a bunch of good old boys out there and I'm telling you what, they wear long sleeve shirts. I've seen, at least 
the several that I've worked with and everything like that because you don't when you are working from sun up to sundown 16 hour days I've done it been there worked a 60 hour week 60 plus hour week that sun is hard on your skin and I'm telling you what long sleeve shirts like this will make you last a little bit longer on this stinking planet so if it's 100 degrees out you're gonna catch me in a short sleeve shirt so um, some of those guys man they can do it but man sometimes it's time to cut the sleeves off and let her rip. So anyway, first shirt, really like it. Um, this one comes in around, prices do change y'all. You can go into Honey and blah, 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 and you can get loads of awesome woohoo prices. AKA, if you put it in your cart, wait about, give it like a month, they'll give you like, please buy it, 50% off. You know, this one came around like $50, 50 to $40 or so at the time of this video. So when you go on there, it might be totally different. I'll leave all the links down in the description down below. Uh, six of these shirts I got from Prime Wardrobe. So you are going to be able to go on there and try them out for free if you have a Prime subscription. Amazon the Beast is not paying me to say this. I just did it because I'm a cheapskate and I didn't want to buy $400 worth of shirts. So anyway, on to shirt number two. Second shirt is Wrangler Ridge Work shirt. So. Ridge, I guess, stands for uh, rigid. Other than looking like a state trooper, I mean, the shirt's pretty good. I mean, at least it's just the color mainly. It's not actually the shirt itself. But this is what it looks like. I guess it is, um, I don't know. It's just normal shirt, normal work shirt. I think this one came in about like 40 bucks or so, maybe a little bit less than that. This is what the backside looks like of it. I would just say it's a shirt. Uh, they chintzed out on the leather patch, so they get a from me. So I don't know. It's just stupid. Why? Why? It's like a two. It's a one penny patch worth of leather. I mean, it's like. Will you buy the shirt? No. Um, maybe in another color. Maybe not in this color. Personally, um, there's not really anything. Uh, there's no uh, the normal Wrangler. How they normally have the. I'll show you in here, on this shirt that I really really love and this is uh, prime wardrobe so I pop I might actually go back and buy the shirt but see how they have different patterns and stuff and even on the pocket on the pockets they got the W for the Wrangler as you can see there boom um, just more attention to detail but coming at a more higher cost so yeah and y'all you can't get a better place to get your shirt made than Bangladesh. I'm telling you what, man, if you've never had something made from Bangladesh, shoot! Bangladesh. Man, that is a cool place. But other than that, this is the Ridge Line shirt. Would I buy it? Nah. Moving on to shirt number three. Shirt number three is Ridge Cut. You've probably seen them popping up here and there, seeing their shirts, and I, I kept seeing that brand stinking popping up everywhere in the tractor supplies and everything like that so i went ahead and bought me one actually so this isn't one of them loan shirts or anything me's bought it and me's like it it is their tough edition and i will tell you what this thing helps with those chillier mornings i would not be wearing this on in 90 degree heat absolutely not every time every time i button the shirt mm, it is it screams quality love this shirt question is would I buy it with my own money? Well, I already did, so there you go, boom. Um, what do I like about it? I just like, I just, I like how basic it is. There's no screaming labels on it, as y'all can see. There, there's actually nowhere on this shirt, except when you take it off, you can see any like labeling or marketing or anything, like with this ridge cut. If you're gonna have branding, I can actually show it to you now. See that? Like, that's cool, but but the, the other thing is, is that, um, it's not leather, so it's gonna peel off and like, like when you're riding on your bulls and stuff like that and he kicks you off, you kinda fall on the ground, you know, and you, you go, it'll, it'll rub right off. Um, that's kinda why I like the Wrangler shirt. That's why I like the Wrangler shirt too. No branding, no nothing, nobody's gonna know anything. I really like this. Granted, I want to say this, I want to make this announcement. All the shirts have been washed and dried and ironed. Yes, this kid ironed 12 shirts. Personally, I iron dress shirts. Why? I don't know. I really just like when shirts are ironed. I don't know. It's very. I really. I just. I don't know. I'll wear a work. I'll wear a shirt for like three weeks straight when I'm working in it. But you gotta iron it. I'm telling you what. Shoot. This is the Ridge Cut shirt. I really like it. 
Um, the other thing too is, is this is how it sits when all tucked in and everything like that. Um, on to shirt number four. All right, this is shirt number four. You can already hear it in my voice. Mossy Oak. If you want to feel like you're five again, in a bad way, if you want to feel like, yeah, this is it. This brings back all my memories. Um, um, with these other shirts that I've been trying on, it feels like you're one body, right? Like it, it it's like you're, not like your own skin, but it's like, I don't know, it's like connected to you. This feels like it's two, you're two separate things, like in a bad way. It's like, maybe I should have ordered a small. I feel like I swim in this. If you have if you are like my age and you have biceps the size of like the size of like King Kong or something, then yeah, probably. I mean, look how much like baggy clothing's perfectly fine by me, but as you can see, like there, like there's like an extra five or six inches that as you can see, there's a lot of like your neck holes kind of really, really big here. Like, I don't know. It's just <sighs> sloppy. I don't know. It just if I was gonna show up somewhere wearing this. You want it, you would never see me show up anywhere with this. I'd be ashamed, slap me in the face if you do. Because I'm sending it back, so you'll never see me with it. So anyway, Mossy Oak. It's a $17 shirt, I think less than that. This should be more like, it feels like they made it for two cents. That's what it feels like. It feels like chicken poo, I don't know. It just, it's it's not it's not a good shirt. I really wanna take it off right now. All right, on to shirt number five. This is shirt number five. I personally own this shirt, so there you go. This was on a super killer deal. Uh, right before we went on the cruise, I bought this shirt. This is a Wrangler jeans shirt. My thoughts and opinion on the shirt, I really, really like it. This thing has a pretty daggone sure. This shirt has a lifetime warranty with it. But they, yeah, I read the small print and it's like, mainly like if it f fades or something like that, then I could just send it in. But if you rip it or sneeze on it or anything like that, it's, pfft, you don't get the lifetime warranty. So I like how they they do that little. So anyway, this was a $60 shirt. If you were gonna go buy this, this would be around $60 shirt or so, but I was able to get it on a smoking deal for like 20 bucks or something at a tractor supply. Always be checking your clearance aisle at the tractor supply. So here's the thing, I know, all you good old boys are out there, you're always checking that aisle, I know. If you are more thicker set, I'll just put it there. If you were more of a bigger boy, it's nice being you because, man, at my tractor supply, there is always like triple XL, quadruple XL for like killer deals. When you got guys like me that need like mediums, it's just like pfft, never have them. So anyway, I would give this, I've been wearing this thing for two years now. No fading. Looks really nice. Um, it feels, it feels like it's connected to my body. I'm not like swimming around in it, but it's not super, super tight. As you can see, I'm um, not, I didn't want to buy, I didn't want to order these shirts. Go on Amazon and type in West men's Western shirts. I'll save you that, I'll just put the photo up here. Normal Western shirts like these are supposed to be kind of, supposed to be like a little bit looser fitting, but not too much, you know, about this much right here. These ones are about skin tight, probably past that, nasty. Alrighty y'all, so this is the next shirt. Shirt number five, this is just, it's just an unbrightened shirt here. I will say one thing that has solved the unbuttoned sleeve pandemic here. Watch this. Watch, watch. Just keep watching, don't click off. Just wait, one, sec one second. Got one on. One second. You always gotta stare off somewhere endlessly. Don't even look at this, always stare off. That is where buttons, listen. Hear that? Watch this, watch. The man snaps on a shirt, daggone. Wanna shake that man's hand right now. Buddy, so this is a very, this shirt is awesome shirt. I really do like it. I own it, bought it with my own money. Basic shirt. Very plain, this like charcoal-like color, real good contrast with the old tanny hat, with the old tan hat there, shoot. Wrangler, Wrangler makes a lot of Western shirts, y'all, so come on, I couldn't get, it's not a lot to choose from, and I was only like, yeah, but anyway, I think this shirt was only like 16 bucks, so super nice shirt, I like it. It's a, it's a more bigger shirt, I do like that, um, so it's not super, super tight on me, yeah, I would actually. I would actually go out and buy this shirt. I would. 
because the price is there. It feels good. Yeah, it does have button sleeves, but everybody, everybody deals with button sleeves. I have shirts in here that have buttons and it's perfectly fine. But for almost the same price as this, you can get that ridge cut. Almost. That ridge cut's about $20 or so. And then if you get it like off season, maybe a little bit less or so. That ridge one always just gives me the fizz every time I button it up and I don't know. It's always thick and good. Feels good. This one's just good. This one's a good old Sunday dress wear shirt. This is really good. Uh, comment down below all y'all good old boys down there. Pen shirts. I will say one thing that I've missed so much is my little detail my little my little uh pen and man when that thing broke i was i was lifting and hauling on something and the little tab just went it bent and then when i went to go bend it back it pew it uh poor little lady broke so anyway i usually like her to sit right there in my pocket and it's just a real good little detail piece so if you have a uh, little pen there and it, uh, mainly i don't really give a rip about the pen mainly just that little the actual just hook doodad thing right there never actually had them fall out at least my pen was had a strong enough clip on there but i really like that all these have pen holes which is very nice if you are taking notes get a pen it, it looks professional it goes from you just threw the shirt on to okay this kid actually i know i'm not wearing a pen because you already heard the story but anyway it, it takes it it take it takes it up a little bit more of a notch so you know you want to be a little bit more professional at the job site, you wear a pen in your pockets. Very nice. Very good touch. Good touch. Shirt number seven here. This is going to make all my welding buddies super happy. This is a flame. It, this is the Wrangler flame resistant jean shirt. Super cool. I mean, it feels like a normal jean shirt. Pretty, pretty stinking much. I mean, that's what it is. Um, as you can see, it has this, sorry, has a little orange emblem here and a little deal here probably some fire rating probably some type of like fire rating the beautiful thing is the beautiful thing is is i have lit i have been very very close to lighting myself on fire and it is very nice to have clothing that is flame resistant and fire retarded and stuff like that and we're us boys are going to be doing more welding and everything like that so to put on a shirt i would have to test this so maybe i'm wrong comment down below if you have one of these shirts i'd be very interested with these flame resistant shirts or whatever or fireproof shirts to extent how how do these handle weld um splatter or whatever the heck you know when you're tack welding or mig welding or whatever several different types of welding out there i'm not in we're not going into the welding world it is very biased it's a very scary world the welding world is and we we do not talk about welding on this channel right now i'm an idiot when it comes to welding there you go okay i would actually like to see how this would hold up because i have welded slightly a little itty bit those clothing already have like little little uh tiny pinpricks in them so yeah i got a coat and everything that you can wear that's f flame resistant and stuff like that but whatever this is just super cool and um so you could just be wearing this on a welding job and just be perfectly fine at least in theory so comment down below if you've tried one of these shirts out this type of shirt i'm not talking about other shirts i'm talking about or maybe other flame resistant shirts too comment that down below too if you're a welder and how weld resistant are they but anyway other than that a really a really really nice shirt um i just really like just overall aesthetic um buttons are pretty good but for over 70 dollars shirt there's two buttons on here that almost they have imperfections actually inside of them i'm not quite sure if y'all can actually see them they're only these two buttons i'm not quite sure if it's because it went into the dryer possibly and they started to like and they got scratched up the rest of them are perfectly fine it's just, i just noticed it on these two i don't know if y'all even be able to make it out on camera but i don't know when nobody would ever be able to see it unless they were like right here looking at it um um but other than that um cool shirt um especially if you're a welder or somebody that works around fire a lot and 
um, especially like if you're doing clearing land and you got a control burn going, you just got ashes falling on you and you know, a little bit of sparks here and there, or you're shooting fireworks at each other. This is the shirt. This is an awesome shirt. Okay. When you shoot, when you shoot fireworks at each other, you don't want your shirt to catch on fire or just have holes put through your shirt. Other than that, shirt number seven, super awesome. Would I buy it? No, because it's not worth $70. Um, unless if I was welding a lot, if welding was my career, or if I was going to be doing, or if you were gonna shoot fireworks at each other a lot. If I was gonna go into like, you know, get one of them stands, you know, just be lighting fireworks all the time, you know, one of those things, I would buy this shirt. But other than that, nah, it's okay. <laughs> I'll just stick with my other, a, a little bit cheaper uh, jean shirt. So. Shirt number eight, this is actually, this shirt is Wrangler Western Wear. This is, this is the line right here. This shirt was 20. This shirt was $20. Personally, I've been wearing it for two years. Had it for about two years. I really like this shirt, um, matches my hat, which is super cool. Other than that, has two pockets and it's really handy. Um, it's held up really, really well. All snap buttons, which is super nice. This is their wrinkle free. This is, this is, this, this right here is wrinkle free. Right here is just beyond wrinkly, wrinkle hot mess when it comes out of the dryer. I'd put it right about here. Maybe a little scotch more. Yeah, right here. Okay, all the other shirts line up about here. Okay. Not even halfway, a little less than halfway. You definitely have to be ironing quite a bit of those shirts, especially that flame resistant one, has to be ironed. Or you're just gonna look like you roll out of bed every morning like stinking, yeah. Anyway, yeah, this Western shirt's always about right here. Um, every couple months, I will iron the collars, so then um, the cool thing about these, this is that they actually put, I don't know, something in the collars actually, so when you iron them, they're like, almost they're almost brand new feeling like the collars are so they kind of stay sharp and pointy and everything like that so that's super nice so this is shirt number eight and i'm going to be getting i'm getting very tired of tucking in and untucking shirts untucking is easy but tucking back in daggum and i bought this with my own money so of course if i was if i saw this on the shelf for not outrageously priced but for about 20 bucks pick it up all day long this this is shirt number nine this is don't don't be tricked with the one that I was wearing at the starting of the video this that one is right here I wanted to try this one out because I wanted two different types of tans to see which one I like better personally I actually didn't know at the time but as you can see this one really matches my hat tan which I really do like this one's more of a darker um, a darker color but other than that, but the other thing too, which is very interesting about this shirt, y'all, is that it, it feels like canvas. I'm not quite sure, but it, it feels really more like a canvas um, type shirt. It feels really, really nice. Um, or more canvasy. It doesn't say actually what type of materials, maybe if I went, went to Amazon, um, I could see actually what it's, maybe it goes into more detail of what it's actually made out of. Bangladesh, of course, but, uh, not actually what it's made out of. So, as y'all can see, really nice shirt. And uh, and the price comes out to be, I think it was about the same as that one. So, this shirt comes out at $40. Very, very nice. The other one came out to be slightly steeper. Slightly steeper at about 50 bucks or so. Would I go out and buy this with my hard earned money? This one actually feels very, I don't know, very manly. It feels very nice. Um, lots of room. Say, when I do this, I can, of course, I don't have arthritis or anything. I can reach higher, but then I'd be untucking my shirt. This is about how much room I got until I start untucking my shirt. Um, but other than that, um, the nice thing too is, is that with these more bulkier shirts, they give you more like more air. So it feels like you got like almost built-in AC. So um, very, very nice. Like it, not too much bulk, but just enough. This one was more on the wrinklier side. My lips will work with me here. When it came out of the dryer, so I did have to do slightly more ironing on this shirt. But other than that, um, I did not iron the sleeves because with these type of shirts, they're 
they gather them in a s such a way so then they got have that so then they have that kind of like wrinkle like appearance so so this is shirt number nine I really do like it would I go out and buy it with my hard earned money yes I would I actually would I would splurge a little bit and go get this because this is a very nice shirt and I just love the little buttons the attention to detail is there everywhere I'll show you up close here as y'all can see the buttons they've been through a dryer and compared to the $70 shirt compared to the $70 shirt the buttons are not harmed which maybe they were maybe it was a malfunct from the factory um, all my pearl buttons they're fake pearl of course these would be thousand dollar shirts but anyway <laughs> I wouldn't wear a pearl shirt you crazy so anyway uh, your little pearl buttons I guess that's what you're gonna call them um, I've never actually had problems with them scuffing or anything so that was very imp that was very interesting seeing scuff only two scuffed pearl buttons on that shirt so I would definitely return that for 70 stinking dollars and get you sent out another flame resistant shirt with nicer buttons um, because it's gonna last you really for the rest of your life unless you rip it or something like that. That's the beauty of these shirts. You have to remember that, y'all. When I am talking about this more high quality clothing, like these jeans, like these jeans that I'm wearing right now, and um, things like that, these things are going to be lasting way, 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 way longer than your mossy oak clothing. You know about the mossy oak. You don't want me to go back down that rabbit trail. Okay, that feels like it'll last about two seconds in a hurricane, okay? This won't, this is gonna stay with you. You're, you're gonna take off and fly away with the hurricane, but the shirt's gonna stay on your back. This shirt's gonna last you a stinking long time, at least because I've been wearing a lot of the Wrangler shirts and they've been lasting a very, very long time. They're very, very durable. I've really been liking them. So paying the extra penny, does go a long way with these more high quality shirts. So there you go. On to shirt number 10. Shirt, shirt number 10. Let me show you. Watch this. Go to shirt number two, number three. Triple button. That's like one eighth the time that it takes the that normal one button deal and you're like, <sighs> they put it in the perfect spot to drive you crazy. Watch this. Next one, you just go one, two, three, boom, done. It, when you, I mean, that's with me with the froggy brain and not even feeling that hot. So anyway, as you can see, this is another Western wear shirt. This is another, actually in their Western line of shirt, Wrangler, of course. I tried to pick more brands, as y'all could see, <clears throat> Mossy Oak, <clears throat> so, and other things like that, but uh, Wrangler really has kind of taken over the whole western line of shirts y'all so um i know a lot of uh probably a couple of y'all can leave down in the comments down below some other high quality shirts that you've tried out that look slick because that's what i want because i want to look nice on the job site not just because i look nice on the job site doesn't mean i stink and work i'll be soot black walking home i've done it several times trust me pretty shirt don't mean nothing when I'm on a job site. I'm not trying to keep this thing clean, okay? I show up clean, leave dirty. That's how I go. So anyway, as you can see, this shirt is very nice. I've had, I, this is actually a shirt that I own. I own another one. Sorry, it's in the washing machine. You got to do that from time to time. Would I buy this shirt 10,000 times over? Love it. Um, I don't know. This is just a really nice shirt. I really like just how they're made, their patterns. Um, not too tight, not too skinny, not too, not too off uh, portions. Like, not just like five feet wide for a medium. Like, no, that's for a triple XL. That's not me. I need a medium. Thank you. I don't want to get a size extra small. This, this shirt costs about $20. And you probably can get it for 18 bucks off season. Um, well, when they're switching seasons, what that they love to do that all the time, switch seasons on you. So I don't know why. It's like happens every year when it's like somebody made it do that or something. I don't know. It's like there was a creator that like made this place or something, and like 
he was like, you know, I want it to be like cold one time of the year and then hot and then kind of hot and then perfect and then, yeah, that's weird. Psh, totally on accident, big bang, you know, you know, took bajillions of years, probably give or take a couple bajillion, million, billion, trillion. On to shirt number 11. Brother just noticed this, this shirt has not one, not two, but three extra buttons. So we all know what that means. They gave you extra buttons because they're telling you all the buttons are gonna fall off. So shirt number 11, as you can see, is another flame resistant shirt. It is winter time with mosquitoes. Don't you love it? Carhartt. This one is made by Carhartt, as you can see. It is a darker color here. I think this one was about $60, close to $70. Sometimes, sometimes, certain companies have this Apple-like Thing where they slap their name on it and it just instantly they can just put a stupid price on it like $60 for a long sleeve shirt that should only cost like 30 bucks or $40 max to this guy really this is all that is um, if this shirt was $30 I would buy it for $60 not in your life not in my life I would ever buy this shirt for $60 it's a Carhartt I have to live with the weirdly placed logo right there. Why right there? That's like middle of my body. Why not put it right here where my belly button is? Dude, like what the heck? Why, why there? Like why can't you like put it here where it's gonna look nice? Anyway, sorry. I was judging. Sorry. I love this shirt. You should go buy it. <laughs> it's beautiful. I love this shirt. All these shirts are good. Why are you watching this video? All shirts ever made are beautiful, perfect, created by God himself. Don't charge. <laughs> Those shirts. Okay, anyway. If you have fat wrists, I'm sorry, I had to say this. If you have fat wrists, this is really nice. It has double buttons so you can like cinch it down tighter when you're like that. If you're in a stressful environment, you're like heart's pumping and your hands are starting to swell up like if you got stung by a bee and you need a tourniquet this is the shirt you can strap them down nice and tight or if you need it for like a bee suit but actually this is flame retarded flame retarded love flame retarded stuff it's awesome i rather wear the flame retarded retarded uh jean one that one's way better in a strangler but anyway other than that this shirt's pretty good, not for $60, not in your life. But anyway, moving on, moving on to the very modest <sighs> shirt number 12. Shirt number 12, as you can see, this is your average Joe comfort guaranteed shirt. I'm not tucking it in, you know why? This is Wrangler Star's favorite shirt, y'all. I think it is anyway. It's one of his, I don't know, the style. At least it says on the shirts from 1947, that's what it feels like. I don't know. It's a jean shirt. Nothing fancy. If you showed up to a party, you could... I don't know. Mm. It, this, this, shirt, this shirt's so stinking old. It's like four years old, so I don't know. I don't know how much this one costs me. I have no idea. I think my mother bought it for me for have a jean shirt day or something. I don't know. Would I go and buy this jean shirt right now with my own money? No. No. It's just too plain, I'd rather. I love this jean shirt too much to wear this shirt. I'd rather own one of these than to own four or five of these. You know why? Because this looks awesome. This is very nice, very high quality. This is too, I don't know. I just really, the button up snaps, something about it just screams quality and I really really like this one this one's too plain for me it's a little too light as you can see this one's a little bit richer I don't know and these things these pockets 
you have to iron the pockets on these or they're just like like a crank in them every time I've never had to iron these pockets for them to just lay flat and straight okay and I can throw this thing in a drawer crumple it all up eventually you do have to iron the shirt because they jean shirts they're gonna wrinkle but the, see I've ironed this and the pockets already like crinkling all up like it's 85 years old which it's 1947 this at least that's how old this shirt why am I wearing a shirt from 1947 because it's awesome would I buy this with my own money mm -mm, no why do I still have this I don't know it's just gonna be this is going to be a good this is a good shirt I own the shirt because when I'm when I'm out chainsawing or something, and if I need a shirt that I don't really care if it gets cut or something like that, or paint slopped on, actually no, I hate painting with any dress shirts. I don't let them go through that painful process. Cuts and rips is fine for jean shirts, not paint. It's, oh, it hurts my heart to see that happen. But anyway, with any shirt. So with any, <laughs> with any button up shirt, but anything, anyway. Let me put on a normal shirt to end this video. Alrighty y'all, so it is the end of the video. I hope that y'all liked today's video. Hopefully y'all learned something from the video. Real quick, I just wanted to say this, just a little tidbit here. I am just, I am just a good old country boy and I just wanted to show some other good old country boys some shirts out there. There is not actually a lot of Western wear shirts out there. And when you see those just good old Texas boys or just good old country boys out there wearing their shirts and everything like that. And you're just like, that's a super sweet shirt, you know? That's really why I made this video because it helps people out, you know? You're looking for a good shirt that's just gonna look really, really good on you. It's not gonna be super cheesy, but it's gonna be quality for the right price, you know? That's why I made this video for y'all. So hopefully y'all liked it and hopefully, you did not get offended by the video. If so, I apologize and hope that y'all will have a very beautiful day and we will catch y'all on the next video. Bye-bye.